Hello my crafty friends, this is Monica from Also Petite. Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial I will shortly explain the best practice to print and assemble any of my patterns. First, download the pattern files to your computer or laptop. When you are ready to print the pattern, open the file in a browser such as Chrome or Internet Explorer. Alternatively, you can use Adobe Reader. I include a pattern layout page to all my paid for patterns and you can find it either on the first page of the pattern or in a separate document. It is a good point of reference, especially for any of my larger patterns, because some of the pattern pieces are on multiple pages. Hence, you will have to glue them together before you cut them out. Other pattern pieces fit on one page, so you can cut them out right away if you want. At first, only print the page with a calibration square and check if it measures 5 cm or 2 inches on all sides. If the test me square is correct, you can print the rest of the pages. If for some reason the test me square is too small or maybe too big, then you will need to check and amend the settings of your printer. In Chrome, click on the printer icon then you can click on more settings to see more options. You can choose the right paper size, such as A4 or letter, and then go to scale, click on customize, and print it at 100%. That hopefully should fix any issues. If you opened the pattern using Internet Explorer or Adobe Reader, the printing menu looks a little bit different, but you will find all of those settings as well. Some patterns may have various rectangle shape pattern pieces, so if you prefer to save on a printer ink and a paper, then only print the pages with oddly shaped pattern pieces. The information on which pages to print can be found in the sewing instructions. Once you printed all the pages, locate triangles in the center of the page margins. If you trim the page at the bottom and side margin, it will be easier to align and overlap the pages. To match correct pages, you need to find a triangle with the corresponding number and letter. When you line them up, they should create a diamond shape. You can use a rotary cutter or paper scissors. I like to use a ruler and cut the page margin with my rotary cutter. You can use glue stick or tape to assemble the pattern, whichever you prefer. I like to use glue so I can apply it to the page margin, overlap the pages and line up both triangles. If you made a diamond and your lines are smooth, then you know you've done it correctly. Now I can assemble the rest of the pattern. Use the pattern layout as a reference to see which pages should be assembled together to create pattern piece. Then you're going to repeat the process for the rest of the pages. Once the pattern is assembled, you can cut all individual pattern pieces. Now you have all your pieces cut out, so you can start the project or store them in an envelope for later. 
I hope this video was helpful, but if you have any questions, you can write them down. See you next time. Stay crafty, friends.